Me and Eddie and Cotton. And, uh, so we got stuff going on here, and you're getting ready to to go in and split. And so uh, we'll be right back at you. For the queen is not up here on there. And then you can get a I don't see the video. video. Uh, no. And then, as you can see, the amount of bees that's in this box, this top box. This is a double D ten, and you see every single frame except for these D. two here on the end. It's full and thick with bees. So you take all your stuff out. Be really careful with it because you don't want to put no, let no oil drop down on your stuff. Start on this box right here. So, so this what you want to put in my right uh, Yeah, I want to do them our same. Yeah. All right. Before you start tearing in the frames, you want to come down on pick out whichever end that you want and run some smoke down through there like this a little bit, and just sit here and wait a little bit in case the queen is up here on this frame. You want to give her time to either move down away from the smoke or move over you know half a minute to a minute or so and it bring the camera closer can you see all this burr cone that's up here in top right through here you want to take your hive tool and just gently break that off if you don't when you pull the frame up it'll break off in a big old piece of hangout and it will rake the honey on the other frame beside of it It's All right. Well, that's you want to bring your hive tool, your hook. I like the hooks better. They're easier to work. You just bring it and lift it up on one side a little bit. They've been really working hard. Grab a hold of it and come here on the other side. And pick it up and use your hive tool to hold that side and just gently pull that frame up and see what's on it. All right. We got a lot of drone cone down at the bottom. We got some eggs. Some one day old, I mean, uh, see, let me look again. Two day old eggs on that side. This side here, we got a lot of drone cone. Look here, right here, right here's two queen cells started. Right here, that's two queen cells started right there. Have to get it to the sun, you want to try to stick the sun there where you can see at the bottom. All right, there's no eggs in there, but that means that they're practicing on making queen cells. And that frame there has about 10% drone cone on it. So they're working toward it. So we're going to make a split out of this. We're going to make a split. How strong a split you want to make, Cotton? I want to make a decently strong split. All right, then we'll make a five frame split. All right, when we take these out, look, when you're making this split, and, and you're going to do what we, we're we going to do a walk away split, you want to set the frames in the split just like they came out of this box. So this was the outside frame. We'll set it on the outside. Bees and all. Yeah. All right, I'm working on the, another box here. We're gonna do a what we call a walkway split here too. You can see this is the second frame I pulled out. The first frame it's got quite a bit of honey and stuff on it. You can get closer in here, you can see there is young larvae and eggs right here on this. Okay. And they've got cat brood in here as well. cat brood on that side as well down in the corner there. Get it close a little closer. Alright, you get down in here close right in here Daniel you can see should be able to see some eggs and larvae down in there. Mm -hmm. see 
Look at the ears, some big drones. Look at how big they are. Look at them, there's several of them in there. So let's see what we got here in this up right here. They got some more brood there, and they got pollen over here on this side. Watch out, girls. Let me see what you got there. Well, they just hope frame this cat to the cotton out. I see. <laughs> this whole side. That is. side is, too? Yeah. This side. Third, look at that. Yeah, they smash that much is, on the other side. That is a perfect pattern. Holy smokes. That is so nice. What you look at? You Go see. get that on video, man. That is so nice. Have a full frame. And on the outside, you can see they're putting some honey in here a little bit, but you see the pollen and stuff on the outsides, just like it's supposed to be. Honey in the corners and pollen around the edge. <laughs> you said you wanted to make a strong one. You got two more frames to put in there. And as, as many bees as in the bottom of this, I don't see why we can't make two splits out of yeah. out of this. Yeah. It's up to you. Yeah, I'm, that's what you know. What we come for, it. Yeah. Now here's a frame of there's a queen. There. There's a queen set. You get a picture of a queen. They started, but there's no queen in it. There's no eggs in it. Is what I mean. No, so they, this one that's a fake yeah that's a fake one where they've been practicing this hive here was getting geared up to swarm big time now you, now you looking major. she has laid all this here that's hatched out already she has laid it up there's two day old eggs in here so we're not close to the queen when you start seeing one day old larvae then you want to really start looking for the queen that makes her, her close she's really close and sometimes the smoke will not run her down. Always keep that in mind, Daniel. All right, basically what I've done right here, guys, see we've got a three, uh, three deep five frame here. And we've already showed you she was already laying eggs in the top box. Basically all I've done is I've just took every frame out and put it in another box for a split. They've got honey, pollen, and eggs, and cat brood. And we've just made... A complete five frame split that's really strong. So these guys should do well. You can use that one if you want. Yeah, go ahead and I'll just go ahead and set this on top of it and I'll carry it and set it right down your arm. Alright. Queen cell with an egg in it on this frame right here. So this this form Now here, you can see right here. Right queen cell. Now this is the second box. It's full of bees too. So we're gonna take our little trap out here. These bees have temp are tempered very well. I haven't even really used much smoke. Put a little smoke on them, run them on down to the bottom here and see what we got. Two, two back in here. 
but you notice I didn't come over here. If we're going to make another split from this one, we're going to use these four frames for another split. And then I'm going to go down to the bottom and pull two frames out of the bottom to put on the ends. Let's draw it out. That'll help him come up and start working this up here on top. And then later on, he won't have to come in and move one in for him to fill it out, draw it out, because the ends will already be drawn out. All right, we're going into the second box. Let's see what we got going on here. This outside frame full of pollen on that side. Connector on that side. Now, we're in the camera room here. Now, I'm going to look down in here. Right in here. See the bees down in here? There, There's plenty of bees in this box. Yep, look at here. All the cat brood there. Here you go, Cotton. And we'll just take them out and hand them to you. Another frame. Ain't that weird? Yes, it is. It surely is. I'm just checking for queen cells. Let's see, Lou, here we got a queen cell right there. You gotta on the make end. sure that you got some, some, see some it eggs right here. Make. There's the queen cell. Here's a cup they've started. few drones there. Alright, so this will be this will be my first frame for the next one. There's our pollen. Pollen. There's a better look see, you know, good look at that queen cell on the end there. <laughs> And I'm going to take that frame with the queen cell and I'm going to stick it in the center because they like their main brood chamber to be in the center of the box. So we'll put the one with the queen cell there. It'll be easier on them to keep it warm. Look at the brood here. There's another queen cell. What's going on over here? Just making another plant out of this box. There's another queen cell on this frame. So I'm going to put it and another box and make another split with it. Here and I got pollen here. And we're Look at the, put the frame in the middle. Cat brood. Put the eggs on See there. it? Look at that frame right there. Mm -hmm. Eddie. Mm -hmm. Look at that. these hives or what, I just come out here and it's hanging in that tree. 
Now, what happens in that maple tree there? Well, if this ain't got a queen cell on it, too. Got a queen cell on it, too. I'm not going to use it, Because I already got a frame in there with a queen cell in it. All right. Take that frame, I shake the bees in the in the hive, and put it in that one. Because you need a queen cell in that one. I done killed it. You done killed it? Yeah. Here's another one. Just got another on the other side. I, give me a brush. I don't create too much commotion here. Look at that queen cell. Well, there's two of them right there on the end. Look. Yeah, buddy. Captain ready to go. With well, a whole frame of cat roof. frame split and a four frame split out of this box and we're not going to split it no more so now what I'm going to do is take a frame of honey cotton's got some extra frames of honey we're going to take a frame of honey and put here on the ends and then put empty empties back in, in the this where you need a queen cell where you need a queen cell right here don't make it mad now yeah, I irritated them a little bit when I brushed them off. some blank frames back in it. We're gonna move some of this up. You look at the brood here already on that thing. Holy smokes, look at that. So we're gonna is pretty much run out of room to land on this in this box. Two of them. It is. Three of them. 
Yeah, this box is rock and roll. Right. Yeah, you need to make a split with all that. Well, I done split. I done did. I've already done three oh, splits out of this box. box. I'm in the bottom box. All right. I wasn't going on. But I'm gonna. You gonna cut them out? Yep. Yeah. Give me a little smoke right here. Come over here behind me, Daniel, and get this. All right, what we're going to do is we're going to cut these queen cells and then we'll take these queen cells and make another split with them. Since Major ain't got but one hand, I'm going to just gently hold it while he cuts that out. Just like that. All right, let another nice one right here. Come, come in right here. No, don't need that big. Don't need. Well, yeah, that's easier. You got it anyway. I keep this in my pocket. One of them little cheap razor knives, perfect for cutting queen cells. You see how this one right here is done started getting light and a little black in the end right yonder. And this one here, see how light it is on the end? That's being thin. These two queens here are within a day of hatching out. One day. All right. And here's another queen cell on top. That's not capped. See it right there. You're not going to use that to make a split with. If you're not, then you need to mash that. Yeah, because I've already. Uh, and there's another queen cell right here. You know we hate to, but if you don't, they might just make them back with a good form. And see, we're, we've taken a lot of bees from this box, so and we know the queen's performing well. Yeah. So we don't want it. a lot of times. You can't. They're going to swarm anyways if you don't. We'll sit right there. There's another cat queen cell. Let's cut that one out. Right here. Get a close up, Daniel. It's nice. Yeah. See, when they're on the end like that, they're going to be easy peasy. I'll tilt it back just a little bit right here and we'll just get it right here. two boxes on here because it's so big I'm moving this up so when all that brood hatches out that frame can be taken out and put a new frame in it. These guys are This one's ready to cut. If you don't want to make no more out of this one, I think they'll be fine. Yeah, Let them build back up another whole box. That's fine. We're going to have splits on them front ones. We can move some of that if you want to put another box on it. We can put that box back on it, put the frames back in. Yeah, you got any honey left? Yeah, I've got, I've got some at the house. No, you, you, have you got any up here? That's all we need. Now, I know that this is like gold and all. And, and, I, and I'm throwing it out here in the grass, and I know. I know that Cotton is going to come back later and pick all this stuff up and save it. Yeah. We're just trying to get it out of the way for now. We're not wasting it, and we're not going to let it go... He'll get it. Let me say that. We don't need one for this. We don't need some down there. I've got, I've got three or four more boxes down there. Can... They got plenty in here, aren't they? Got that honey and pollen. Move a good frame or two down in that box. That's what we're doing. We're moving some up. We'll put some fresh in there.
hot paint and everything. Yay! <laughs> I'm come back and that way well, I'll get another load of it. I'll get it. I'm glad you stopped by to watch our videos. Like, subscribe. Thank you, and we'll see you next time.